Ghana, West Tech, FAM, them free, Trench. Yes, people, what's good? I'm trying to be more active. Hey, make sure you subscribe, man, so you don't miss out on all the bullshit that I'm talking about. Because that's right, most of the time it is flipping bullshit, but it's fun. And we love a bit of bullshit. That's why Biggie had a song called Party and Bullshit. You feel me? So anyway, we're going to get into this one real quick, a dick. And it is uh, predictions and a card breakdown for Premier Battles, The Plug. Yeah, this one is in London on the Saturday, the 25th of February. Unfortunately, it's well, not unfortunately, fortunately, it's my birthday weekend, so I can't make it. And not only is it my birthday, but my, me and my daughter share the same birthday. So therefore, I can't just go out partying with the lads then, do you get me? First battle, Cooper versus Mr. Tongue Twister. Not going to lie, Cooper isn't my cup of tea. He's a decent battle rapper, not someone that I would like watch and be like, yeah, he's sick. I can get that he has got certain technical abilities and he can be rated as a decent battler, but he's definitely not my cup of tea. And I don't really think his style's um, matchable to Tongue Twisters. Tongue Twisters like quite sick, so I think Tongue Twisters going to body that one easily. Um, the next battle is Sean Cray versus LS Dean. I think Sean Cray's kind of got that, you know, he's funny. Uh, again, I think his style's more preferable to me than LS Dean's, although I can see the room and everyone else giving it to LS Dean um, because he's quite of a fan favourite at uh, Premier Battles and shit. Although, yeah, I'm still leaning towards um, Sean Cray on that one. Then we've got Lazy versus Raptor. Bruv, Lazy is a waste man and shouldn't be booked after he basically pulled out of a big event because he said that he did a prep. Um, that's 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 dead in it. Like he he better redeem himself. He better come back smoky. You get me? Um, I'm gonna give that one to Lazy because I'm about to body rap for soon anyway. But I'll give you a run over of that card in a little while. So the next battle is Big Bobby Rex versus Frankie Frazier. I'm not gonna lie. I've got to give this one to Big Bobby Rex just because his presence and delivery I think is gonna overpower Frankie. Frankie has had good presence and delivery. Um, so far, like lately, it's, it's improved a lot compared to what it used to be. It used to be very, very fucking terrible. And he's done a very fucking good job improving it. Um, so big up Frankie. Um, but yeah, I think Bobby, like if Bobby picks the right angles and does Bobby, he's going to do it. Because I think Frankie's going to be focused on his writing. And I don't think that it's going to matter that much versus Bobby Rex unless you've got the big moments and the, and the delivery and the projection and shit. You're just going to get overshadowed, in my opinion. So I'm giving that one to Bob. Then we got Gemini versus Koje. I'm not going to lie to you, Koje is an ill battle rapper, but I do think Gemini is miles ahead in terms of his writing ability, the way he delivers, the way he comes across, his charisma as a battle rapper. I do think he's got that quite comfortably. But big up Koje, because obviously I wouldn't just say that about anyone. That's Gemini, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? Um, and then on the top of the card, we've got Shotty versus Shuffle, a similar, similar... Uh, um, feeling with this one shotty is going to overpower shuffle shuffle i feel like shotty can do what shuffle does yeah shotty can do the funny condescending multis he can do everything that shuffle does he could show up and dress like shuffle and rap like shuffle shotty's imitations are fucking sick by the way so he could actually do that shuffle he can't do what shotty does and that's where the line is shuffle can't perform like shotty Shuffle can't give that gritty rap feeling like Shotty. Shuffle can't threaten Shotty or nothing like that, you know, with it being viable. So there is a difference of their abilities there, I think. And I think Shotty takes that edge for me. Again, Shuffle could win in other ways, but I just can't see it happening. I see Shotty overpowering that shit. So that's my predictions for the plug. Uh, Saturday, the 25th of February this weekend at the Brixton Jam. You can get tickets from premierbattles.club, but I believe it's sold out. So don't even bother trying, fam. So then anyway, the next day, they're telling you, they're telling you, they're telling you, telling you. They're telling you to go over to the Amishan Arms for short circuit for a free entry. This one's actually on my birthday, so I wish I could have gone. But again, it's my daughter's birthday and we've got to do stuff, you get me? Anyway, quick run through of this one. Sunday the 26th of February, Amersham Arms in Newcross, free entry. At the bottom, we've got USDI versus Black Phillips. I have no idea who the fuck any of these men are. They're tryouts, so I can't really speak on them. Um, good luck to both of them. We've got the Burke versus Matty Lloyd. Again, both tryouts, but I have heard of Matty Lloyd. I've seen him battle a couple times. So, wait, that's Marty Lloyd. 
Now I don't know. Now I'm confused. I don't know. If that's Matty Lloyd, maybe he gets it because he's battled before. If it's Marty Lloyd, then I don't know either. Then we've got Dojo versus Quicksilver. Again, I ain't heard of any of them. But tryouts are always interesting to watch. So you get me? You might see the next talent there or just someone to laugh at because they're really terribly shit. Either way, it's going to be bants, isn't it? Lord Bentner versus Wavy John. Um, these guys ain't tryouts and have obviously both battled quite a bit. I'm going to give that one to Wavy John. I think he's a funny fucker. I think if he funnies it up, he's going to beat it. I think Lord Bentner's a bit serious. Again, I don't think his style um, suits him that well. I think he still needs to kind of find his style because I think that he looks like he wants to be funnier and more chilled out, but he looks a bit too serious. Um, then we've got Sir Spence versus Benny P. This is a tough one. I'm giving this one to Benny P. Again, he's a funny fucker. Um, but yeah, I, th I think Benny P's got that one. And then we've got Villain versus Giz. This one, I'm not going to lie. I think I might have to give to Giz, you know. Although I feel like Giz, like, the way Giz thinks he's stacking multis, what he does is he stacks, like, two-syllable multis and, like, stacks them back-to-back. -back. So it seems like he's multi and but he's not, and it sounds very rigid. Um, but I think in terms of delivery, charisma, stage presence, all of that, he, 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 he trumps villain. Villain writing is amazing. But will he deliver it? Will he get it off? He stumbles a lot lately. He doesn't seem to have projection a lot. So I'm edging that one to Giz. But I'll be pleasantly surprised if Villain wins, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's short circuit the day after the plug. Um, so yeah, man, I've listen, just let me know what you want me to talk about next. Drop some comments, interact with me. We're brethren now. You're here, bro. You're not leaving, fam. You're not leaving. Safe.